and welcome to your Friday forecast. I'm Jeff Matthews. Don't forget to spread the gospel of CNY Weathertainment. Many people don't know about it. And you can follow me if you're on Twitter, Instagram, or Tumblr at CNY Jeff Matthews. You can also get your forecast live at 555 every day. I try to make it as easy as possible to remember. And that's why I chose 555 via live stream. It is a free downloadable app. You can do it on your computer as well. And it allows you to see weather if you follow me at 555 every day. How about that? This is a big new technology thing. You're starting to see this now on network TV. Meanwhile, your forecast, the high is in the upper 40s for this time of year typically. Breezy conditions, it'll stay mild for Friday, but it's a colder wind into the weekend where the temps get shaved back closer to the average, which is 48 for this time of year. And when we get into next week, it'll meander at or above average. Even as we continue into November, the above average temps look like they will continue. All good things must come to, you know the saying, everything has to come to an end, good and bad. So you know, eventually, as we head through November, this can't continue. Friday, the wind and rain are bringing change, my friends. And Sunday looks like the brighter of the two weekend days overall. But if you're away from Otsego, or if you're in Otsego County as opposed to Herkimer or Oneida, probably a little brighter there Saturday too. Meanwhile, two days ago, water vapor imagery shows that warm air pushing northwards. A day ago, all the way up to the U.S.-Canadian border, notice no progress on this front going eastwards. But now, latest imagery, look at that. Not only has it moved east finally, but a new plume of moisture is moving up in our direction. That'll bring us the rain this morning. Here comes the rain for this afternoon. It'll all be between a six hour window, making it relatively convenient for you and me. So that all that warm air that's behind this warm front that moved northwards is now becoming a thing of the past after today. There's the rain slug from this storm for this morning, another rain slug for this afternoon, and then it begins to clear up. So the high has moved away, the clouds are in, the rain from that storm is approaching. It will move in this morning after 9, and then wind down after 3, and the colder air will push in behind that. How warm was yesterday? I forecasted a high of 66, hope you don't mind. Turned out 70, even better than I expected. 10 hours of daylight means 14 hours of darkness, but your forecast is next. I'm Kevin, this is Danny, and this is Zoe, and we love our CNY weathertainment. So it's time for your forecast, and I like to give you three things every weathercast. Most accurate forecast you can find, something educational, and a way to make you smile. Well, let's check off number one, because in terms of accuracy, how about this for specifics? Rainy between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. So it starts after 9 a.m., but it's over by 3 p.m. How's that for specific? South wind, breezy up to 22 miles an hour and a high between the raindrops of 68. Partial clearing tonight, a low of 45. Mostly cloudy tomorrow, although there will be some bright spots, especially in the p.m. and especially like at Siegel County as opposed to northern Herkimer or Oneida counties, which will be cloudier because of the lake's influence. High of double nickels, 55, but it's a transitioning day where the colder air is moving in overnight into Sunday, where a high should only be in the mid to high 40s. Bright for Monday, a period of cloudiness for Tuesday now, and then back out into mostly sunny skies for Wednesday, and your next chance for rain looks like it'll be late next Thursday. Have a great day.